Alan! The new guy's taking Alan! most of my time, but I think he'll come Alan! Back. He's been through some Alan! Shit. Wait a minute, what the heck is this? This is Fallout 3. Didn't you say, Mage, that this will be taking a back seat because you've got other projects on the go at the moment? Well, yes, I did say that. I did say that, and I stand by that. This this series is definitely not going to be a priority right now. However, however, the, uh, the Fallout TV show is premiering, like, tomorrow. They brought it forward, I think uh, it's supposed to be April 10th now, so if you're watching this... Um, when, when I'm recording it, well, for one thing, how how are you doing that? I haven't uploaded it yet, you weirdo. Um, but I'm just really excited for it. I really hope the TV show is going to be good, and it's just got me in the mood for a little bit more Fallout. So let's celebrate by continuing our adventure through the wastes and seeing what we get up to. Now, uh, we've just explored Arafu. We've been told we need to locate the family. We're trying to find Ian West who is the only missing family member, aside from his uh, sister, obviously. We need to deliver her letter. Uh, and uh, we've been told uh, a few locations that Ian might be. Hamilton's Hideaway, uh, Moonbeam Outdoor Cinema, uh, Northwest Seneca Station, I think, was one of them. Uh, but we know that he's actually at the Moresti Train Yard, or at least that's where we need to go for the quest. But I did say we would check these out, or at least some of them just... just just because I don't really remember if there's anything decent there. So that's what we're going to do today. And uh, yeah, just really, really in a fallout mood today. And especially since I've not been feeling well recently. Uh, I'm kind of taking advantage of one of my quite rare good days. And uh, we're going to play some Fallout 3. Is there... Oh. Bloody Milux. Fantastic. Uh... Now, they're not too big of a deal, to be honest. I mean, I could... Could probably just shoot... Are there two of them? I thought there was two of them. Where'd the other one go? I saw... I saw two red things on my map. Where did one of them... One of them's disappeared. Where did he go? But yeah, we're gonna kind of head over in that general direction, so... We might as well kill this... This little fella down here. The Milurks aren't too bad. Um, they're actually, they do give some pretty good meat. And that damage wasn't the best, considering that's a sneak attack. Uh, but they're very, very slow. And, yeah, I hope, I hope you're going to enjoy some Fallout 3 today, chaps. It's, uh, definitely on the back burner, as they say. But every now and then, we're going to dip into, uh, into this, because it is just... One of my favorite freaking games of all time. My luck, meets. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, we're probably going to get to Moonbeam Outdoor Cinema first, so let's keep on going this way. Uh, what's my actual situation? Because I haven't played this in so long. Yeah, we still got Riley's Ranger armor, the shady hats. Um, got two combat shotties. One of them's in decent condition. Um, I think we'll go for... Yeah, we'll probably stick with the hunting rifle for now. Let me just quickly check. We've got so much shotgun ammo. Oh, my God. In fact, do I want to repair any of this stuff? Yeah, because my repair skills are a bit better now. So I could get that up to 53 damage. 16% more condition. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do it. We could probably do with the uh, carry capacity anyway. Because we're going to be doing some looting today, I have a feeling. Um, still got the Magnum. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. Chinese assault rifles in decent condition. Got a few frag mines. Uh, I could have sworn there was another Mylurk down here. Oh, hello. Has it reappeared? Yeah, there was one. He's just swimming. I couldn't see him because he was swimming. You know what? Oh, there is something on the jetty, though. There's something on that jetty. Looks like a lockbox or something. I think we better investigate. Um, is this going to do any damage to you? I mean... I feel like that didn't hit you. Which is very annoying. Oh, because you were behind that, were you? Okay. Am I doing any... How have I not hit you? 
Though I know, I know bullets going through water can lose a lot of their, you know, their uh, momentum. But um, you were not very deep in that. And again, my lurks. They do have, they do have some pretty hard shells, don't they? Although if I shot him in the face, oh, is he stuck? Oh, are you stuck? Oh, that's so unfair. Life is so unfair. Holy shit, did you- Oh god! Oh god! I have awoken the horde. Shoot in the face, there we go. The nice, soft, squishy face. How- How are you missing? There we go. Okay. Did you hear the sound? The- the- The, <laughs> the sound of the- the water splash? Holy crud, that was so loud for some reason. Oh, we got some Milok eggs as well. Eh, they're not- that's not quite as good. I'll take the meat though. Ooh, we're taking rats. Right, what's in this here box then? Ooh. A lot of booze. Some stimmies, maybe. Uh. Yeah, I'll take some rad eggs right away and two stimmies, thank you very much. What's in the trunk? Uh, bobby pin. Okay. I think that was probably worth it. There's so many Milurks here. Oh, and there's someone friendly, apparently. Oh, there's a random scavenger swimming with the Milurks. You absolute mad lad. What? What? Why would you do that? Why would you... Why would you go into their territory where they are stronger? Milurks on land are slow as shit, not really a threat. As we've just seen. Like, he couldn't even jump over a little bit of wood, but, um... Okay, well, he can... carry on living his best life. I wish him all the best. Let's go back to the old hunting rifle. Uh... There's something over here, too. Ooh, this could be more dangerous. Sneaky, sneaky times. I think we're actually quite close to it. I can't see, because it's behind this rock. Oh, it's definitely seen me now. It's a Robo-Brain! Okay. And we got the critical strike, which is nice. There we go! God, it's all kicking off today in the waste. You've been rather busy lately. Who the fuck are you? Asking questions, investigating. So is that it? You're some kind of investigator? A detective for hire? I am a man of many talents. Kind of personal grudge against an innocent android who simply wants to oh. be left alone. Oh. Please tell me. I'd really like to know. Well, Victoria, also I'm playing as a woman. I just forgot. Um, I completely forgot that Victoria uh, Watts turns up once you've sort of started, you know, sticking your fingers in a few pies in terms of the uh, android investigation. Okay, poking our nose around the place. Um, I still haven't really decided how I'm gonna do this quest, you know. Who the hell are you? I think you're confusing me with someone else. Look, whoever uh, this missing android is, I just want to help, okay? What I do with my own time is my own goddamn, goddamn business. Uh, who the hell are you? Fine, let's cut to the chase. My name is Victoria Watts. I work for a movement whose goals are directly opposed to your own, apparently. It seems you're trying very hard to locate an android my associates and I have tried very hard to hide. You can see how that puts us at odds. I mean, sure. Sure. This conversation's over. Um, what would you have me do? You really want help? Take this. It's an internal component from the very android you're searching for. Don't ask how I obtained it. Present it to Dr. Zimmer in Rivet City. Tell him the android is dead and that was on the corpse. He'll believe you. Do that and Zimmer will go back to the Commonwealth and leave that poor soul alone. Do that and you'll have saved a man's life. Uh, I think that's like the really quick and easy way of getting this quest done. I need to look into it because I think if I do that, the reward I get won't be particularly good. Um, let's ask her what the reward would be. Of course. If you help me, and thus the android, God and the universe will smile upon you. Oh. Is there any better compensation? No, I like I like physical, tangible compensation. Usually of the money kind would be great. Caps, armor, weapons, you know. Stuff that I can touch. 
Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be taking this particular uh, solution to the quest. What is this movement you mentioned? We call ourselves the Railroad. Uh -huh. Our mission is the rescue and salvation of synthetic humanoids. Androids, as they're more commonly known. Right, so again, we're hearing things that would later become quite big parts of the story in Fallout 4. Also, I, I must clarify as well, I've never actually played Fallout 1 and 2, so I'm sure some of these things have maybe been mentioned in previous games as well, but I just think playing Fallout 3 and then knowing what would later come in Fallout 4, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Uh, what about human slaves? Don't you try to help them too? Yes, if we are able. But there are others in the Wasteland who assist in the plight of human slaves. Our android brethren have only us. Mm. And we are going to be uh, dealing with some human slaves uh, during this playthrough as well. Uh, just not quite yet. Can I join the railroad? Tell you what. You deliver that component to Zimmer and tell him the android is dead. And you can consider yourself a member in good standing. That, that's worth nothing. That's absolutely... That's a lot of bollocks. That's like... I've been, you know, an honorary deputy or something. There's a lot of bullshit. You're offering me nothing here, Victoria. Anything else I should know? Just understand that this android is now, for all intents and purposes, a man. He looks human, he acts human, he believes he is human. But even if he's not, even if he's a machine, he's capable of rational thought and emotion. So you see, his soul is as human as yours or mine. This person, and he is a person, deserves a chance at freedom. Please, if there's a shred of decency in you, don't take that away from him. I mean, to be honest, Victoria, I was probably leaning more towards helping him anyway, even though I said maybe I wouldn't. Um, I find it very hard to be a dick in Fallout 3 for some reason. I don't know why, although I have blown up Megaton a few times. Uh, but with her, you know, berating me and, and being very judgmental and then basically offering nothing. Uh, for my help. I'm almost tempted just to, <laughs> like, hand him over to Zimmer just to spite her now, but, um, I have to go now. You know what you need to do. Yes, I do. Actually, I don't think I can kill Victoria. I think she's actually one of those characters that's too important and she'll just respawn or just get up miraculously. Because you can kill a lot of characters in Fallout 3. Not all of them stay dead. Um, but yeah, bye Victoria. I have other shit to attend to right now. Like looting... Oh, what looks to be a dead raider. And this rubber brain. Uh, I'll take some scrap metal as well. Yeah, so I, I'm gonna ignore that quest for now anyway. I really don't know how I'm gonna handle it just yet. We'll worry about it later. Um... Oh, is this where they used to play baseball? I found Fordham Flash Memorial Field. Heck yeah. I know nothing about baseball. I've only seen a few things in the movies. Uh, pretty sure that's not particularly common in baseball. Is that... Is that... Uh, are you on this base? Is this yours? There's another one over there. There's a baseball glove. Uh... Yeah, I, I, I... Oh, and there's the baseball! Nice! We could have a little game here if we wanted to. Um, oh! <laughs> fully just realized. Again, a lot of effort to string people up. I don't, I don't know if I could be bothered. Anyway. Completely forgot that was a location. Not really much to do. Not that I remember, anyway. Uh, and I think we may have found... The outdoor cinema. I've never actually been to an outdoor cinema before. Anyone in the comments been to an outdoor cinema? I imagine it's more for, uh, you know, having a bit of hanky-panky more than actually watching a film, but I could be wrong. Uh, oh, finally. I was going to say, I think I've discovered it. I think, uh... <laughs> I think I've been there now. Okay. Just a few doodads. Probably... N oh, I'll take a carton of cigarettes. Uh, 
Not much else here. Yeah, there's not much to do, is there? At the old moonbeam. But at least it's a fast travel point now. Okay, um, well, he's, yeah, we know Ian's definitely not here. Let's go to Hamilton's hideaway. Which is... Ah! Well, I'm, gu I'm guessing where Maya looks. Um, I think we'll use the old shotty on them when we get a little bit closer. Is this boat not our actual location? I think there's some boxes on it. Yep, there's some boxes that are empty. I hear you, my lurk. This is it just the one? I'll take some ammo. Hello! Oh god, oh god, I actually let it hurt me. And now I'm... Oh, really? Really? I have to run all the way back up this hill? I actually feel great shame. I let a Mylurk get a hit on me on land, which is just so embarrassing. Yeah, a few ammo boxes. Only 10 millimeter though, which is a little bit shit. Well, not shit. Um, hello. We've got ourselves a, an easy safe. Uh, left a little bit. There we go. Oh, Magnum Rounds, another 10mm pistol, which I probably don't need. I think I've already got a spare. Ball caps, pre-war money, and another freaking Magnum, dude! That is some good shit. Uh, in fact... I mean, my Magnum's in pretty good condition anyway, but I bet I can make that even better right now. Yeah. What is my repair skill? I didn't realize it was this good. What is my repair skill? Oh, it's at seven? Holy shit! Since when did I get that to 70? I... I mean, I know I'm like level 11. But holy crud. That's... that's stonking that. Nice. Alright, save you for uh, a rainy day. Right, down to Hamilton's hideaway. Which, uh, I think is down by the water. Or not. Oh, goddamn rad scorpions. Can I get a hit on you? I think I missed. God damn it. Oh no, I did get some, some hits on you, that's fine. Let's take out your stinger. Get that sting out your tail. Quite literally. Oh, they're so quick, though. They're so quick. Okay. I'll take a poison gland, whatever. Okay, music, you can chill out now. Thank you. But uh, for those of you who are watching this after, after the fact, uh, how was the TV show? What did you think of it? I'm I'm really I really hope it's good. It's got such a good cast. It looks incredible from the trailers, but uh, you just never know these days, do you? You never know. Wait, is Hamilton's hideaway this building? No, I've gone past Hamilton's hideaway. Oh, is that? Wait a sec. Completely gone past it. It wasn't that boat, was it? I don't think so. Is it a cave? Oh, we got ah. Now we've got mole rats who are not aggressive to me because I took the uh, animal lover's perk or whatever it was called. Right, this is Hamilton's <laughs> Hamilton's hideaway. As I joke, I don't remember what you do here. This could be worthwhile. It may not. It could also be full of traps. For some reason, I do not remember who Hamilton is, or what is in his hideaway. Uh, this is already giving me pretty bad vibes. Is, uh, anyone home? Playing quite sinister music. Nothing is jumping out at me right now, which is nice. Uh... 
Are those st stalagmites or stalactites? I never remember the difference. Hello? Okay, there is an enemy over that way. What do we... Oh, it's more fucking rat scorpions! No, is this just a rat scorpion nest? Oh, no. I mean, as long as it's not a giant rad scorpion. That ain't so bad. Oh, <laughs> from that range as well with the shotty. Love it. What is this? The shotgun from Max Payne? That thing had an amazing range on it. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what, what there is to find down here. Uh, this could be a complete waste of time. But we're gonna have a mooch around. This is this is what Fallout 3 is all about. Especially if you're playing this for the first time, you don't know what you're gonna find. You don't know what's in certain places, unless you are, unless your name is Claire Voyant. You ain't gonna have a clue, are you? Uh, all I know is I'm pretty well equipped, hopefully, to take on most things, as long as it's not a fucking death claw, because avoiding what? Oh, hello. Uh oh. Uh, hi, Mr. Wastelander. I don't think you're uh, gonna need these anymore. Thank you. Oh, caution. Yeah, it's just a bunch of rad scorpions. Oh, God, I love the combat shotty so, so much. Although, its condition does go down incredibly, incredibly fast. Oh, this is a bit of a maze, this, isn't it? Oh, God. Let me check the map. Oh, God. Okay. This place is huge. Seems to be entering another... ...man-made chamber. Anyone home? Oh! I can hear someone. Could it be Hamilton? I genuinely don't remember. I see a quantum though. Whoa, whoa, okay. Okay, game. I'll take a quantum, thank you very much. Another day. Hey, it was worth coming in here. We got a we got a skill book. We got a skill book. Now is that just the radio? It was just the radio. Oh, Takes more medics. I mean, yeah, plenty of uh, plenty of drugs down here. There's definitely more enemies around here too. Okay, now we're in now we're in tunnels. Oh, more dead raiders. Okay, yes, combat shotty. Just what I bloody wanted. All right, let's. I think they're in this door. Time to breach and clear. And by that, I just mean open the door. Ah, oh, it's just rad roaches. It's just rad roaches. That's okay. That's, that's what the 10mm pistol's for. A lot of drugs down here. I'll take a little bit of uh, tap water. Thank you very much. Hmm. Okay. Oh, well, I'm glad they got rid of this scorpion for me. I have a feeling there's going to be more, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sneak attack, bitch. Oh, shit. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, <laughs> that, that squish. Gross. Alright, we've got some doors to uh, check out. I mean, even, even if there isn't really anything to do down here, or if it's part of a quest that we haven't accepted yet, at least we did get a skill book. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Not much going on in here, it seems. That's fine. I think there might be more 
roaches in this door. Hello. Not a problem. Are they guarding? Uh, lunchbox. Nothing too amazing, to be honest. And there were, obviously there was still other ways we could have gone back in the main cavern. Fish and battery. That's just too heavy to really take when we don't need one. Okay, last door. What is in here? Okay, well, someone's left the light on. Are they still around? That is the question. Ah, we're back in the cave, it seems. Oh, hello! I'll take your 32 caliber. Nothing in the lockers. That's a shame. Oh, stimmy, stimmy, stimmy. Okay, right. Back into the cave we go. More dead things. Have I gone in a circle? I feel like I may have gone in a circle. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, we've, we've been out. Yeah, we've... Okay, 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 okay. So let's go back this way. Whoops. Yeah, we've not been... I mean, again, there, there probably is more to this place that we're not seeing, but... This looks promising. At least we're getting some more medical supplies. Yeah, maybe this place is just here to search while you're looking for Ian, and then you're going to look through the whole place and realize he's not here, because he isn't. A uh, little workbench. I'll take a bottle cap mine. Uh, yeah, nothing too exciting going on. I think we'll probably just make our way out. I reckon. Yeah, I think uh, I think we'll probably just skedaddle. To be honest, unless something jumps out at me. Okay, we're out uh, outside again. My mole rat friends, my mole mole brethren. Hello. Why are you so injured? What's been what? What's been hurting my mole friends? You will pay. It's very dark. It is very dark. I think we'll probably just wait a few hours. Oh, yeah. Uh, quite a few, in fact. So, we could just head over to Moresti Train Yard now, to be honest. Uh, well, there is that Seneca station as well. I suppose we should, if we're going to be thorough, go check that out, but it's... Probably just going to lead down to a metro station, I would think. Then again, so is that. It might end up taking us to... I don't know. I don't know if this is connected. We'll go there anyway. We'll go there anyway. Oh, we'll check out where those buildings are. Why the heck not? I'm running a little bit low on hunting rifle ammo. Which is a shame. Um... I might actually as well just quickly repair this sh combat shotty again. Yep, I think that's probably worth doing. Uh, maybe I could leave it a little bit longer. It's still doing 50 damage. We'll leave it a little bit. We'll leave it a little bit. Okay, what have we got? Uh, oh, I should really read that skill book we got as well. Duck and cover. Explosives increased by two. Very nice. Oh, it's just it's just so this game is so good. Can we get on the rooftop there? I don't think we can. I think that's one thing that Fallout 4 did really well. Especially in um in Boston itself, like, all the rooftops you could climb and get to, and it was a lot of fun to explore. You don't really get as much of that in Fallout 3. 
Uh, I think we're just about here. Oh, we've got Cornucopia Fresh Groceries. Uh, we found Northwest Seneca. Yeah, let's go on down to the metro. Let's check out the grocery store. Good old Malcolm McDowell on the radio. Now I'm guessing... Probably more rad roaches in here. Yeah. Always seems to be rad roaches in the grocery stores and these little shops. Oh, sorry. Glad that didn't explode. Blood, ah, blood pack. Definitely want to be picking up those. I've, I've stored a lot of those at my house. So, um, we will actually be needing those. Or they will be useful to us, aside from the little bit of healing they give you. Uh, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil why. Although you might be able to guess already. Uh, floor safe. Straight in. I'll take the 10mm. We... In fact, yeah, the one that I'm using is <laughs> really, really damaged. Why don't I repair that bad boy? This just makes me think of uh, Hogs of War. Right. Again, I don't need to hack this thing, but we might as well try. Uranium! 2 out of 7. Uh... Eh. Uh, eh, 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 eh. Staying. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I mean, it is it is pretty good XP, so... This is probably just open the safe that we've just opened. Yep. That's okay. Anything else in here? Probably just a bunch of junk. I'll take a couple of new Coca-Colas, though. This, this is all great stuff for just throwing in your uh, rocket launcher if you make it. Uh, yeah, especially the tin cans, they're so good for it. I'll take some Mentats, oh, some caps on the counter. Uh, no skill books, don't think so. Inspirational quotes. Oh, big, big old carton of cigarettes on the shelf. That'll do. Okay. I knew it! I fucking- I was just about to say, usually when you leave these shops, the bloody Talon Company mercs show up. I mean, I'm actually okay with this because their armor can repair my armor. So, I'm just gonna back away a little bit. Take out this guy that's trying to fight me. Uh, take on a shotgun with a knife, which wasn't too smart. And now he's just a little bit He's Not sure how I'm gonna take his armor. <laughs> I still can, apparently. <laughs> Uh, probably would have been better off with your frag grenade, mate. Are they gonna try and... They're flanking me. You clever dicks! Ooh, you are doing a lot of damage still. Um... Can I repair my armor right now? Because I might want to. And again, ours is still in pretty decent condition, but I'm, I'm telling you, man. Armor in Fallout 3... It's not the best. Uh... That's going to give me five more damage resistance, though. Seven to yes, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Um, in fact, should I... God, the music is so loud. I might just pop a few mines down. Are they coming around this way again? Do, 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 do. Come on. Come on. Say goodbye! Why did those go off? I'm nearly dead! Oh, fuck me. Hard mode is very hard. Wow, you're not hitting them! 70% chance! Right. Let's just freaking eat all of the- all of the Mylurk meat. Nuka-Cola's. Jesus. Monkey tits on fire, that was... God, we still take so much damage from these merc bastards. You're very close, sir. Oh, really? Doesn't help that he's got a shotgun. Ch 
Jesus Christ. Okay, they're gone. I'll take that shotgun. Thank you very much. It's good XP. It's good XP. And, uh... Yeah, kill Beatrix. I'll take your shotgun. Take more armor. Uh... Take the hunting rifle. Take your ammo, your caps. Holy crap. Yeah, they always bloody spawn when you come out of places like that. I was literally about to say, oh, I hope the Talon Company mercs don't turn up because I was, you know, I'm good karma again. Uh, right, let's do some repairing quickly. Here we go. We've nearly, we're getting close to max condition, you know, even at only 70 repair, which is kind of mental. Let's repair the combat shotty. Uh, in fact, yeah, just do that. Uh, which hunting rifle? My hunting rifle's okay, but... Yeah, get everything tip-top condition. Beautiful. Alright, now I probably should heal a bit. Uh, is there anything else to see around here? I don't know. We could head into the tunnels, I suppose. Just have a gander. Bloody hell. God damn town company mercs. They are really tough. They are really tough on hard mode. Uh, there's a friendly around here somewhere. There's a couple of friendlies down here. Um, do I even have a metro ticket on me anymore? I, it's only a problem if there are any protectrons down here, but... Hello! You are not... Not here to try and steal my secrets, are you? Hi, Murphy. Um, steal your secrets? Not at all. Oh, what secrets? Yeah, sure, I'm here for everything you got. Hand it over, zombie. No, no, no. Not at all. Good. I was afraid I was going to have to abandon my lab here. That would mean starting all over again. It's not easy trying to make Ultra Jet, you know. Oh, you're the guy that makes Ultra Jet. I'd forgotten about this as well. Uh, that sort, that sort of, uh, some sort of super chem? I suppose you could say that. Ultra Jet is almost double the potency of Jet. Perfect for ghouls. Jet barely affects us, you see. Only trouble is, it's almost impossible to gather the ingredients together. Say, you might be able to help me with that. There's just something so funny to me about a ghoul who probably has like a million different health conditions and yet is still wearing glasses. <laughs> I just love that so much. Uh, sure, what do you need? Although, uh, nothing's free in this world, Murphy. Yeah, no kidding. I didn't think you were a freaking charity. Okay, good. It takes three things to make Ultra Jet. Two of the ingredients I got plenty of. The other one is a little harder to find. Sugar bombs. Ah. For every box of sugar bombs you bring me, I'll pay you 15 caps. So, you in? That ain't a bad deal. That ain't a bad deal. We're gonna try the speech check, just because, why not? But, um, yeah, I forgot, actually, that sugar bombs can be a little bit of a money maker. Nope. Ah. It's 15 each. You wanna do it or what? We will do. If I find any, I'll maybe come back and bring them to you. Good. Now get going. I have a ton of preparation to do. Alright. Sugar bombing run. Uh, oh, you got a little friend here, too. Yeah. Hi, Barrett! You got something to say? Uh, yeah, shouldn't you be in, uh, North Coral right about now? Get away from me, Slowski. Okay, you don't want to talk. That's fine. That's fine. Yes, that's locked. And yes, I can see you are. Okay, I'm just seeing what you got going on here. What kind of setup? Make sure this is legit so I'm not going to waste my time. Uh, and where's this going? Ooh. <laughs> Big old radioactive room. No, 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 no. Right, okay, well, yeah, I guess, uh... I got the caps. We'll find, we'll find some sugar mums for you, Murphy. Is this all there is to... Oh, yeah, look, it's completely sealed off, right. Well, that's, uh, I'm glad we did check these places out now. Especially this one. Oh, hang on, maybe this is actually how you... Oh, just more, more ratties. Oh, and radioactive shit. Yeah, there probably isn't too much to do down here. Uh, no, probably not. Oh, stimmies. Yes, please. 
Oh, look at him. They're my friends. I'm gonna call you Toothy. I'm gonna call you Jethro. And I'm gonna call you Maxwell. Yeah, definitely, it's definitely been a, a worthwhile trip, I'd say. Right, let's, um, grab some Nuka Colas and a Quantum and be off. It's very fucking dark down here. We need to at least try and progress this, uh, Arafu quest. And, of course, we can just kind of fast travel straight there if we wanted to. I'm going to quickly nip back to my house very, very briefly just to rest up and maybe dump some things off, although I don't really have much, to be honest, so I will be right back. And I just thought I'd quickly show off my uh, bobblehead collection, which is uh, still very, very modest, but so uh, we popped a few more there now. Uh, I really do need to get all of these if I can. They're just so bloody good. Um, cheers, Wadsworth. Things are going well for you today, madam. Not too bad. We are, we got attacked, well, we got accosted by a, a very, a very, very judgmental woman called Victoria, and we've killed a lot of things. Right, let's head back to... Uh, yeah, let's go to Mercy Train Yard. Here we are. Now, how do you actually get inside? Ah, it's this way, I think. Yes, service tunnel. Now, I don't remember if there are any enemies down here. There might be. There might also be traps. It has been, again, quite a while. Oh, there are... Oh, there you go. There's one trap. Uh... So we can definitely just disarm that. Okay. Uh, baby carriage full of explosives. Yep. <laughs> Didn't get me that time. That's so, that's so fucked up, man. <laughs> that is so fucked up. Or better traps. I'm just looking for mines more than anything. I suppose we could have come in that way too. Uh, wait a second. Where the heck am I going? That's sealed off. Is it this way? Aha! It is this way. Okay. Right. Oh, that tripwire. Not particularly well hidden. Just watch, watch me, it'll set one off now. Just you watch. I've been talking smack about the traps. Uh, there will be more. Looks fairly safe, actually. So we're heading to southbound Moresti Station. Uh, there is some gas leaking out of that pipe. Probably wants to avoid it. A dead... Wow, a Mylurk made all the way in, made it all the way in here. Crazy. Uh, oh, there, there we go. Is that technically stealing? I technically stole that mine. I'm not gonna go over there just at the moment. I think I have to go this... Oh, God! <laughs> okay. That was a bear trap. Da -da. I'm sort of oh god! Did I just? Yep, I said I told you. I I knew. It. I don't know how I didn't really take much damage there. I think the shotgun kind of missed me. Okay, at least I can see this one. And a little bit of baby XP. All right, are we getting close. Hello! I come in peace, Robert. I come in peace. I will put my gun away. I've made it past your traps. Or at least most of them. Whoa, whoa. Slow down there. This area is off limits to everyone but the family. Where the hell do you think you're going? I'm going to see the family. Speech 31%. I really need to get by you. It's important I find what I'm looking for. 
Uh, I mean, we'll give that a try. I'm wondering what I could do with all these spare caps I have. <laughs> Just exploring, not telling you jack. Um, hang on a let. Oh, well, if, if the speech check fails, we'll say we've got a letter. Uh, from his sister. Right, oh, nice! Right. I guess you look harmless enough. Oh. <laughs> if I were you, I'd speak to Vance before you poke around too much. You can usually find him on the mezzanine overlooking the common area. Alright, we'll go see Vance. Um, we're gonna ask about this place, but I don't li <laughs> I look harmless enough. Yeah, I've only got like a combat shotgun, hunting rifle, magnum, laser rifle, many pistol. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm 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 harmless. Uh what is this place? This lovely hole in the ground is Moresti, the headquarters of the family. Okay, uh, tell me about the family. We are a badass gang, and we don't take shit from nobody. We also don't like nosy assholes who creep around asking too many stupid questions. Wow, your badass mother don't take no crap off of nobody. Well, uh, I have to go now. Just remember, I got my eyes on you. We all do. Okay, Robert. Just chill out, man. I'm just walking by! Calm your tits! Okay, we've gained access. We've located the family. Now we just need to find Vin Diesel. I mean, Vance. Uh, and yeah, this is a little settlement, so... We could steal a bunch of stuff here. I really do need to start stealing more, just to get my karma down. Uh, but I'm not going to steal from the family, because... I don't want to piss them off. Yes, anyway. I'm probably going to do this side quest how I usually do it, to be honest. Uh, let's go... Yeah, so Robert's got his own little area here. And, uh... I'm gonna be heading into the main part... ...of the station. Which is... ...up here. I don't think there's anything that way. But yeah, look at it! They've got their own little freaking town down here. It's actually a pretty sweet setup. I mean, you, you're going to be lacking so much vitamin D. But maybe, they'll, they, maybe they don't mind that. Maybe they don't mind that. Hello, Justin. I thought I knew everyone in the family, but I don't recognize you. You must be one of Vance's new initiates. My name's Justin. I'm pretty new here myself. Okay, I'm looking for Ian West. Have you seen him? Ian, what do you want from him? Uh, speech 46 percent. He needs to talk to someone from the outside to get some perspective. Uh, we can try that. It's ah. outsiders' perspectives that drove him here in the first place. Sorry, I can't really help you. Okay. Uh, he's needed at home. His family is dead. Yes, I know. He told me. Ah. Surprised? Well, Ian was there when it happened and did nothing to stop it. If you ask yourself why... The answer is obvious. He belongs with us here. He's one of us. Don't deny him his rightful home. Hmm. Anything else you can tell me about Ian West? No. Just that Vance said he isn't to be disturbed while he's in meditation. Meditation? He doesn't belong here. How do you know that? If you've spoken to him like I have, I think you can see he's truly one of us. Ian confides in me. We share a special bond. I might be the only friend in the world he's got. Interesting. So, yeah, a bit of, bit of a twist. You think he's been kidnapped or something? No, he's, uh, he's one of them now. Uh, what is this place? Well, Vance told me that this place was called Moresti. It was named after some town way across the ocean in a place called Romania. Oh? Okay. Romania. I wonder what that place is famous for. It's a great way to get back at those assholes out there who think we're losers. If it wasn't for Vance, I'd still be getting the crap beat out of me by those guards in Rivet City. I have to go now, uh, Justin. I understand. Goodbye. But thank you for that very valuable information. Okay. Now well, there's still quite a few people we could talk to. Not all of them are the important. The uh... Uh, hi, Bri Bri Brianna. Are you are you um, offering certain services? Well, well, I'm surprised you don't know me. I'm Brianna. I take care of the men around here. Well, unmarried ones, anyway. 
Uh, do you do you cut the hair? What 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 what, what do you mean, take care of him? I'm looking for Ian West. Have you seen him? Vance has him in meditation right now. No one's supposed to be in there. Poor kid. He looks like he could use another friend. I could be his friend. Well, that is sweet, but Vance would kick my rather gorgeous ass right <laughs> out of here if I told you how to find Ian. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I gotta hand it to you to have that that confidence. Wow. Okay. Um. Anything else you can tell me about Ian? Nope. Like I told you, Vance has him in meditation right now. No one's supposed to be in there. Okay. Uh, tell me about the family. How about just the coolest gang this side of the U.S.? As long as we listen to Vance's rules and listen to his stuff, he lets us do pretty much whatever we want. Hmm. Okay. I mean... Bye, sweetie. Bye. Oh. Just, uh... Just checking. Just making sure you ain't lying to me. Okay. Uh, let's... See if we can find Vance. I think he's probably the man we should be talking to. Who else is there, though? Just out of curiosity. Alan! 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 I don't think I've met you yet. The name's Alan. What did you want? You don't say. Uh, tell me about the. Uh, they're probably all saying very similar things, but let me just ask anyway. I don't have any authority here. I'm pretty new myself. Oh. Justin's been trying to talk to Ian, make him feel better. Maybe you should speak to him. Uh, I've spoken to Justin. Guess I'll see you around. Sure will, Alan. Right. Da, da, right, so, yeah, Vance is usually up here. Sometimes, with all the troubles we have, it seems impossible to hold it together. He's got, this, he's got another one oh, of those sick on, dusters. Vance. You're doing what's best for these people. If it wasn't for you, they'd be living in the waste. Or dead. You always have had a knack for making me feel better. It's the least I can do, Vance. You give so much and rarely receive. I'm glad I'm here to help. Hello there, stranger. Hi. Sorry to interrupt, Holly and Vance. Wait, is that a Holly Valance joke? Welcome to Marasti. Uh, anyway, hi. Hi, Vance. Welcome to our home. My people call me Vance. I lead this group of weary travelers and outcasts who need a home. And to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Uh, well, let's have a look. I think I've stumbled across the world's first underground insane asylum. Uh, this place is very different from any of the other settlements I've seen. What you see before you is the last bastion of hope for the downtrodden and misunderstood. It is a sanctuary for the oppressed and a beacon of faith for the tyrannized. Uh, Holly's taken one heck of a drag from that <laughs> cigarette. Allow Vance to continue. We are the remnants of society, cast aside like the clean-picked bones of a hunter's feast. I led my flock beneath the sun-baked sands of the wasteland to keep them safe and teach them my ways. Men of science would call us cannibals, eaters of human flesh. Society labels us as monsters, demons, and the unclean. Okay. None of this talk is necessary. I know exactly what you are. <gasps> you amaze me. Never have I met a human with the gift of cognition that you possess. Tell me then, what are we? I'm getting pretty lucky with these speech checks, to be honest. I'm quite shocked. You're vampires, or at least you follow their fictional traditions. Yes. This group of cannibals have kind of fashioned themselves as real-world vampires, which is really cool, because, like... I'd played Oblivion before this, you know, uh, Bethesda game, where vampires are actually real, and to see that there's a counterpart in Fallout as well was really awesome. Again, I don't know if they, if this has been done in the Fallout series prior to this game, but uh, it's just a cool concept. It's a cool con- I mean, terrifying. Fucking terrifying. But, um, I think you're a collective of seriously messed up freaks. Now, of course, we could be very antagonistic here, but... Uh, I'm gonna say you're vampires. Do you think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly away? Of course not. Do I cast my image in a mirror? Absolutely. Now, ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown these people the ways of the vampire. I've provided them shelter, 
organization and a sense of belonging. You do this by teaching them that they're mythical beings. What you're doing here is brainwashing. <laughs> simple, plain and simple. Come on, Vance, you're on a power trip. You mess with their minds. Well, again, we're gonna... We're gonna try not to uh, piss him off. Now you disappoint me. Oh. You need to open your mind and think for a moment before you pass judgment. I have reigned in their cravings and taught them to eat not of the flesh, but to drink of the blood. Most importantly, they have a family. A place where their quirks are tolerated and understood. So... he doesn't like them eating people, but drinking their blood is okay. Right. Uh, I've been searching for a young man named Ian West. Ah, yes. My newest charge. What would you want with him? Uh, ah, da, 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 da. You people murdered his parents. Well, let's just mention the letter from his sister for first. Now, again, most of the time I've done this quest, I don't think I've actually had this letter on me, so I'm curious to see what happens. Then a part of his human family still remains? Even more of a reason he needs to remain in isolation. Ew. Ian is at a critical moment in his life right now. After all that occurred in Erafu, he is scared and confused. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides what he wants to do. Well, that's the thing. We, we I would love to know what actually happened in Arafu because it sounds like you guys aren't, like, just going out and murdering everyone and eating them, but... Uh, Maybe they put up a fight? I... Hmm. Wait a minute, what happened to him? Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his parents. Oh my god. Because of my intervention that night, he stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. Well, that's another twist. He did it himself, or at least that's what we've been led to believe. Holy crud, Ian. Are you telling me that Ian is a cannibal? I am telling you. He will no longer be labeled as such. He has become one of us, a member of the family. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. Ian lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. Okay, now we're gonna try this one. I'm guessing we're probably gonna fail this one. Uh, the letter is all Ian has left of his old life. Allow me to give it to him. No. Damn it. It would not be right to disturb him in this time of meditation. I am sorry, but I cannot allow it. Oh, Vance, come on. You wish to speak to me again? Please let me speak to him. Uh, now that I have a better understanding of the family, may I speak to Ian? I had always assumed if a human happened upon our home, it would be for the purpose of our extermination. It appears my fears were ill-placed. It is a pleasant surprise to meet someone as amenable as yourself. Oh, thanks. Very well. I will allow you to speak to Ian. Oh. Perhaps you can help him come to grips with his greatest enemy, himself. Okay, so he was like, yeah, no, I can't I can't let you speak to Ian. It's, it's far too important of a time for him right now. He needs to decide what he needs to do. Um, he's scared and confused. End the conversation. Two seconds later. Hey, can I speak to Ian? Yeah, sure. No, you seem pretty chill. Uh, so... You are free to roam the common area of our home as our guest. So now I just get to go and chat to Ian, which is what we're going to go do. Uh, I seem to recall him being... over in this area somewhere. Is he in here? I'm trying to remember... Where are you, Ian? Well, I'm thinking this is uh, maybe Vance's quarters. Very fancy. Very nice. Anything worth nabbing in here? Uh, I'm more looking for skill books than anything. And I'm gonna hold off on stealing from these guys right now, just because, again, I don't really want to piss them off. Although, if I close the door... I mean... Who's gonna say anything? Right? Who's gonna say shit? I should really save though. I'm gonna do, <laughs> gonna do a quick old save here. I've lost karma. Oh no. What a shame. 
How will I ever get over this? That's fine. I'm probably still really well into the good karma at this point. Oh, the teddy bear. Uh, right. Where is Ian? Ah, I think he's actually in here. I think. Requires key. I say, is this where he is? Unlock the security area door. Oh, there we go. That was easy. Yeah, there he is. You alright, Ian? So they would kind of locked him in here, which, you know... Vance was kind of implying that, you know, they saved him, and especially if he did kill his parents. Pretty, pretty fucked up. Um, but the fact that they locked him in here... is... How do you get in here? A little bit, uh... extreme. Hi, Ian! Uh, what do you want? He always sounds way older to me than he actually looks. I've been looking for you. You're a bitch to find. No, I've been looking for you. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. He's worse than my parents. Hmm. Um. Apparently he knows that his parents are dead. Pack your shit, we're getting out of this insane asylum. Uh. I'm sorry, Ian, but your parents are dead. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know what I did? Mm, I know what you did, Vance. Uh, I, I know what you did. Vance told me everything. You seem awfully troubled, Ian. What did you do? I killed them. My own parents. It was the fucking hunger. That thing that's haunted me my entire life. You must think I'm some sort of monster. I do a bit, yeah. Uh, look, Ian, I know loss too. I know it hurts, but staying here isn't the answer. I give up. Fine. Stay here and cry, big baby. There's something inside me. Something completely messed up. I'm a mutant. A fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. No, she's not. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? No, no, no. Um... I mean, we could... We could try the speech check, but I'm just gonna give him the letter, actually, because, uh... Yeah. I think he... he he needs to see this. She... She really misses being home, and she's asked about me and here a lot. I think I had it all wrong. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. Please, tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. I'm just gonna gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. Okay, let's hope that Vance is, um, okay with this. Cause... I think we've stolen his his new new favorite prote protege, but you know, I, I, Ian has made his choice. So, is he going to honor this? Let's go find out. So, usually, I pass that speech check, I think, which convinces him to uh, to to leave. But uh, since we had the letter, that was a lot easier. Uh, where is Vance? Is he down there? Oh god, every- every- oh, it's, it's meal time! What are you eating? Better not be humans. Better not be any livers with some nice Chianti. Uh, hi, Holly. Where's, uh, where's Vance? Can I- can I please talk to- where's- Where the fuck is Vance? Oh, there he is! I'm so- I'm not used to seeing him so well lit. Did I just kick the ashtray? I did. He just wanted you to make the- I trust your talk with young Ian went well. It's nice to be out, uh, actually able to see you now. In learning the results of your discussion, did he come to a decision? He did. Um. Yeah, let's uh, let's actually talk about Arafu first, because I don't want you attacking them anymore. Because that's another reason why we're here. As long as you maintain this level of civility, please proceed. So he seems a decent guy, kind of. Uh, give those people a chance, they're defenseless. Or we could choose medicine. Vampires can drink any kind of human blood, even from blood packs. Mm-hmm. Curious. Many years ago, I survived by drinking from fresh blood packs I recovered from hospital wounds. The problem was that these blood packs were scarce. What do you propose? Well, I mean, if our food donates blood packs... You leave them alone? 
Ooh, we say donate or sell you blood packs. I feel like that's a bit fairer <laughs> to uh, to our food, to be honest. Because this other thing is basically just like, give us blood packs and we won't, you know, <laughs> freaking suck you off. I, um, uh, Arafu will sell you blood packs and you'll leave the town alone. Or we could go for the middle ground, which is you protect them if they donate. You know what? I like the sound of that one. Agreed. Please take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them and then return to me with their decision. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. Now, what of young Ian? Tell me his decision. So, we've sorted out the Arafu thing. We just need to go back and tell Evan, I think. Uh, this is, you know, pretty pretty peaceful solution. I think we can all agree. They get their blood. Arafu citizens get protection. Everybody wins. Everybody wins. Ian's decided to leave the family, though. It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather educational. Nervous. And we got a schematic, the shish kebab. Nice. See? He was a nice guy. I, I, I like the family. Yes, they're a little bit scary. And pro probably, probably very pale. But um, Vance is a, is a reasonable man. And uh, if you go about it that way, everybody's happy. So we're going to be heading back to Arafu and uh, finishing off this quest. Uh, only problem is getting out of here is going to take me a while. So uh, I will see you back at Arafu. Okay, morning is dawning, and we've made it back to Arafu. Let's, uh, well, first of all, tell them that the uh, the family won't be causing any problems anymore. In fact, they're going to be helping them as long as Arafu, you know, go out and scavenge blood packs. There she is, the heroine of the day. Uh, it's done, Evan. The family will never bother Arafu again. I know. I talked to Ian, and he told me everything you did. I don't know how you did it, but goddamn, am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. Thanks again, kid. Consider yourself welcome back here any time you're in this part of the wastes. Cool. Blood ties. We Oh, we just gained karma. <laughs> 300 XP. That is the quest done. I have a proposal uh, for you from Vance, the family's leader. Interesting. It seems they wish to enter into some kind of agreement. I guess it's better than pointing my gun down that ramp all day and hiding inside at night. Let Vance know he's got a deal. We'll do it. I'll speak to the others. I'm sure they'll agree with me. Okay. Uh, any help you can provide would be appreciated. I've been saving up stuff for emergencies in case things with Arafu got tremendously bad. You're welcome to some of it if you like. Oh, scotch. Okay. Uh, I don't really need that, but, uh, cheers, Evan. Come on back soon. I may have some stuff for you. Oh, I wonder if he does give you stuff randomly if you come back to him. I don't know. But yeah, we've still got to go back to, uh, the family and tell them about the deal, and then we can pretty much, I think, donate blood packs of our own to them for money, I think. Which is why the blood packs are very good to stockpile. I have a ton of them at my house, but we're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to go quickly just check in on Ian. And then, uh, then that's probably the end of the video. So, let's see how he's doing. As, as have they cleared out the corpses of his, uh, of his victims. Okay, they have. Hey, Ian. Hi. Thanks for setting me straight on everything. No probs. Would you mind if I asked about your, um, unusual hunger? I suppose not. When did you first discover you had the hunger? I was about ten years old, and I was playing with Lucy down under the overpass. We loved throwing rocks in the water. We saw some wastelander trying to break open the Brahmin pens and steal one of them, so I ran over and told him to stop. He just laughed and pushed me away. When I fell, suddenly my head started to hurt, and my eyes got all blurry. It was almost like I blacked out. 
Next thing I know, Lucy was pulling me off the guy. I had ripped his throat open with my teeth. Holy shit, he ripped grimes him. Um, what did Lucy say when she saw you do that to the wasteland? Lucy definitely didn't mention that, did she? She said I, like, changed into another person, that I even glared at her and raised my arms like I was going to kill her. The Wastelander took a swing at me with some kind of club. I turned around and jumped on him. I tore his throat open with my teeth. If he wouldn't have done that, Lucy may have been killed too. I just don't know. Bloody hell. Uh, did you ever talk to your parents about it? Lucy said Mom and Dad would never have understood. She told me to keep what I did a secret and that she'd try and help me. Thanks to Lucy, she was able to stop that from ever happening again for years. Every time I'd feel the hunger, she'd hold on to me and not let go. After a while, the hunger almost seemed to go away until, well... Yeah. Um, let's talk about something else. Yeah, okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. How are things going now? It's weird living in my parents' old house with them gone, but I'll make the best of it. Everyone around here is being nice to me despite what happened, so I guess it all turned out well. Thanks. You're welcome. I have to go now. Sounds good. Come back and visit me sometime. I could have asked him about the vampires, but um, I'm not actually sure if we can go back and tell Lucy about this now. Like, if Lucy will come back to Arafu. I might have to look that up, or if anyone knows in the comments, uh, yeah, let me know. But um, we're pretty much done, I think, with hey Arafu. Welcome back to our and that's where we are going to end it. Huh? Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Don't know when the next episode of this will be, but, um, of course, if you do enjoy this, please let me know. It will come back eventually. I just, uh, need to get a few more things finished. But, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been a good episode. We got a lot done. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye for now.